Knowing whether a word group is a phrase or a clause will help you know when to use commas and help you with agreement and reference problems. When you look at groups of words and sentences, ask yourself, is this a phrase or a clause? A clause has both a subject and a verb, and maybe more than one of each. A phrase doesn't. It may have a verb, but it doesn't have a subject-verb combination. Here's a group of words. Jeff can't test the prototype indoors. We have a subject and a verb, so this is a clause. Clauses can have multiple subjects. Jeff and Wendy can't test the prototype indoors. And multiple verbs. Jeff can't test the prototype and offer first aid to Wendy. Now a phrase. It feels incomplete and won't have a subject and verb combination. Before testing the prototype. This group of words has a verb, testing, and a noun, prototype. But the prototype isn't a subject. It's not doing the testing. This group of words is just a phrase because it doesn't have a subject-verb combination that conveys a complete idea. Before testing the prototype, Wendy puts on safety gear. The first word group has no subject, just a verb. So it's a phrase. The second one has both a subject and a verb. It's a clause. Once we find a clause, we need to ask another question that affects punctuation. Is this clause independent or dependent? An independent clause can stand alone. It has all the information it needs and sounds complete if read aloud. Jane booked a clown for the office party. A dependent clause sounds incomplete. It has both a subject and a verb, but something called a subordinating conjunction makes it dependent on more information to make sense. Before Jane booked a clown for the office party is still a clause. It has both a subject and a verb, but it is a dependent clause. It sounds like it needs more information. The subordinating conjunction before makes it incomplete. Here's a sentence that has both a dependent clause and an independent clause. Before Jane booked a clown for the office party, she ran it by the team. We need to know all this because we separate dependent clauses and phrases from independent clauses with commas. Without a comma, this sentence would be punctuated incorrectly. Remember to use commas to separate dependent clauses and phrases from independent clauses. An introductory phrase also often needs a comma. Before booking a clown for the office party, comma, Jane ran it by the team. Sentences can have lots of combinations of independent clauses, dependent clauses, and phrases. These get connected by punctuation, subordinating conjunctions, or the fabulous fanboys, coordinating conjunctions. Be sure to catch the fanboy video next.